Thanks for staying with us right here on Sunrise as we continue this Tuesday morning. A total of 1,714 fatalities were recorded in 2016 festive season period, which were a 5% increase of the previous year. Now, the highest number of fatalities were recorded in KwaZulu-Natal, the Eastern Cape, Gauteng, and Limpopo, which made up 61% of the total deaths. However, 432 roadblocks were conducted throughout the country during the festive period and 453,263 uh, fines were issued. Now, to talk more about these festive season campaigns on the road, we're now joined by Deputy Minister of Transport, Cindy Suik Chikunga. And you at home can be part uh, of our chat by giving us a call on 11 or 11 Your comments are also welcome on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, good, uh, good morning to you, Deputy Minister, and thanks for joining us. Good morning, and good morning to your viewers. Okay, great stuff. Now, the last time we spoke to you, uh, you were on your way to London mm -hmm. uh, to go campaign for our country to remain in the International uh, Maritime Organization. How did that go? We won. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the 40 member state council of the IMO, mm -hmm. which is a working committee of the executive of the IMO. Uh, we have our own uh, representative there doing the work mm. full time in London mm. as Sipombata. Mm. If we had not won, he would be back in South Africa here. Mm. Mm. So very excited about that. It's, it's an important achievement for our country. It was indeed a difficult campaign when you have seven African states con campaigning mm. for being elected into the category C only. Mm. It actually meant that one or two of us will not make it. Mm. Could have been South Africa, but it was in South Africa. We made it into it. So we're very excited. The outcome of this year's IMO uh, 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 council elections was very unique in that you saw big countries being voted out, mm. some who are contributing a lot in the maritime sector and shipping services, but they were voting, voted out. So anything was possible. Okay, who would well. have wanted to come back and report that we lost the seat? <laughs> okay. So I'm probably reporting to the South Africans that we won the seat, we are still part of the IMO. Well, that, Very exciting. That is great news uh, indeed. Okay, but now here's something that is always not great news. When we come back from a ho the holidays, um, as of this week, uh, you know, people are going to start, you know, going to different parts of the country. Uh, and safety uh, on the road is a major concern. Uh, so let's just look, talk about what are some of the, the plans uh, that the department ha has going into this festive season. We started by analyzing the situation to say what is it that is unique about this festive season. Mm. And, and we said first the water focus is telling us that we're going to have a rainy season and therefore we're going to have wet roads. Mm. In other parts of the, of, of, of the country such as your Western Cape, uh, Northern Cape, coastal part of, West, of Northern Cape, mm. we're going to have a very dry, dry season mm. with potential of uh, felt fires. Mm. And this is going to happen. Mm. But also we have identified dates where we expect high traffic volumes, such as the date of the 15th, mm. many of the industries will be closing. Mm. The date of the 22nd, following that long weekend of, of Christmas, which mm. also we have identified as one unique feature that you're going to have 23, 24, and 25 on Monday and 26, and therefore four days of boozing in South Africa, people drinking and therefore driving. Mm. And also where you are most likely to have many of the accidents happening in built up areas or residential areas. Mm. And we've identified that. But we also have identified major routes that will be busy and have high potential of accidents because of our statistics that are telling us that, mm. for instance, your N1 from Cape Town to Johannesburg, including Free State, mm. that is the route that has many accidents for Free State, uh, including uh, N1 to Bait, uh, Bait Bridge in Limpopo, therefore, mm. your N2 from, Eastern, from Cape Town to Eastern Cape, KZN between Deben and, and, and Limpop, I mean, and, 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 and Richards Bay, mm. all that, we've seen many accidents happening there, your N4 to Pumalanga, your R61 in Eastern Cape, your R40 in, in Bushback Ridge because mm. of many taverns al mm. along the, those routes. So we've identified these routes and we have this as for said, we're going to deploy many of our resources, whether you speak of our traffic officers, the police that we're working with, the Department of, of, of Health that is more than prepared to be on our roadblocks so that we are able to catch those 
they were driving under the influence of alcohol and you can take blood immediately. Mm. And we also have now a machine that is admissible in court if we test that. Okay. So before we get to that, I want you to talk extensively about that. I yes. just want to prompt some callers. You can be part of our conversation this morning by giving us a call, of course, on 011 447 1742 or 011 447 1620. How do you think, uh, you know, we can curb uh, the fatalities on our roads uh, every festive season. What are some of the things that you, you've experienced and what is it that you do uh, to make sure that you are on the safe side of the law uh, when you're traveling during the festive season? So, of course, the, 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 the testing on, on, of, of alcohol, uh, obviously, on the roadblocks has been a big challenge in terms of like it being be able to be used uh, in court at later stages. So you're saying that there's a new system that is going to be used? There's actually a new machine mm -hmm. that we're going to use that is admissible now in court. Mm -hmm let alone the fact that we, we will be working together with the Department of, of, of Health, mm. but we also have that machine that we'll be using. Probably many, some of the provinces might not be having it right now, mm. but it is already there. Mm. But also one thing that we have discovered is that many of the accidents that have happened even now are happening at night. And mm -hmm. that is why in our awareness campaign, which we are heightening and strengthening, we will be saying if you plan to travel, please ensure that you travel during, during the day. Yeah. Because like we have said, at night you're going to have a lot of rain so therefore drive during the day and plan your trip such that you look at your car mm. you look at your passengers you look at your goods so that you do not overload your car okay. and don't say i just want to drive from Johannesburg to Deben. Say I will be driving from Johannesburg, but in between Johannesburg, I will stop in this area and so on and so forth. Mm. And I'm more than prepared to be patient with other drivers. Mm. I'm the best driver, and I think all other drivers are reckless drivers, mm. and therefore I must be careful. So now, in, in, in terms of like a, an integrated a program with the different uh, uh, provinces, so you touched on some like the different hotspots uh, that people, you, that you will be looking, looking out for. H how is the plan laid out? Indeed, we're going to have, we, like I'm saying, we're going to be focusing on the major routes, mm. the national routes that we I'm, I'm, I'm referred to and other provincial routes. Mm. But we then said the weekend of the Christmas weekend, which is long, mm. will not have a lot of traffic on our major routes. Mm. We therefore are going to have a lot of traffic in residential areas. And that okay. is where we need to go then. Because that is where you're going to have many of the accidents affecting pedestrians. Mm. That's jaywalking, where yeah. the jaywalking. Mm. In towns, in cities, people, people going to town to buy whatever. Mm. And that is where you have many of the pedestrian accidents and fatalities. Mm. And therefore, immediately after we think that we no longer have major traffic or high volume, uh, I mean, traffic volumes on our major routes, we'll then go back to residential areas. Mm. We will be talking to because there's a lot of events that are planned for this festive season. Mm. We will also be saying to event organizers, please ensure that those that attend your events, whether they are weddings, whether they are even funerals for mm. that matter, please ensure that people do not drink and drive because at that time you have more traffic and you will have more vehicles in residential areas than any okay. other time in the year. Okay, let's take a Naidu calling in from Durban this morning. Hello, Naidu. Yes, Nadia. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Okay, your commentary this morning? Uh, no, not really a comment. I just want to know, I'm aware of unlicensed drivers for mm. years. Mm. Now, that is a real cause of uh, accidents because they're not licensed. How does one report unlicensed drivers? Okay. Yes, ma'am? In fact, you can actually phone uh, a, a, a RTMC. Mm. You can phone even the police station. Mm. Any driver who is driving without a valid Mm. driving license mm. is breaking the law. Mm. So it's a criminal offense. You can phone the police station, your 10 triple one, you can phone that. But you can also phone the the RTMC number. Mm. Uh, I, I will remember it, I think. Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll get that and then we'll just uh, share with her before we, we end our conversation. Exactly. Mm. You can phone the number so that you report that. Not only a person who is driving without the valid driving license, even the reckless driver on the road. Okay. When you see them, you can actually phone and say, I'm seeing a car like this and you actually they will report to the traffic officers that are on that road. Okay. All right, let's take uh, Ernest uh, on the line. Hello, Ernest. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you, Ernest. Uh, Ma'am, I want to ask the panel there. Mm. If they can check vehicles before they go out of Johannesburg, if you look at the, 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 the taxis in Johannesburg, more than 200 here from the, from the south, mm. going to Johannesburg, mm. not one taxi is check for uh, the vehicles. 
The vehicle is unroadworthy. Okay. It is not un it is not roadworthy uh, at all. All right. That's NS. Okay. So let's because I was gonna, that was going to be my next question talking about the taxi industry and just like the transport uh, you know public transporting people uh, sector. How are you dealing with that when it comes to the, to the plans of the festive season? In fact, we will be focusing on on, on public transport mm. because as you are aware, for instance, the accident that happened in Bumalang, ten people dying at mm. once. Mm. Another one in Free State, seven people dying mm. at once. So so it's 17 people just like that. Mm. So we will definitely be focusing on public transport. We will be stopping them. We will be checking for their roadworthiness. But also we're working together with the taxi industry itself. You know Santaco has got its own clock omela program. Mm. And we are saying they just cannot allow any taxi that is unroadworthy to leave their taxi rank. Mm. But if they do, we will be there on the road to stop it and to impound the, the, that tax. Mm. So we will definitely be doing that. Of course it will inconvenience. What also we have seen with the political changes in Zimbabwe, mm. there's a lot of transporting of goods from South Africa to Zimbabwe. Yes. We already okay. are seeing that. Mm. We will not stand on the way of our fellow Zimbabwean mm. going back to their country. Mm. However, we expect them to do it within the law mm. of transporting of goods. Okay. Using transport that is meant for the transportation of goods. If they are not doing that, we're going to stop them. Okay. And that's what we're going to be doing. All right, let's take Lydia from uh, the Free State. Hi, Lydia. Hi, how are you? We're good in yourself. Yes, I want to ask that, that my air can be finished. Just like the text between uh, Blue Fountain and Free State, they are not good stuff. Okay. Taxi. Okay, taxis in the Free State as well. It's, it's, it's a problem. Between Blue Fountain and where? Okay, she's gone. She did say that her time uh, is finished. But you did touch on, 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 on the taxi industries, but the, the industries obviously have different programs within the, uh, the different provinces. Uh, I know it's very difficult to, to answer this, but like, do we set it what is the target that's set so that the numbers are how how you know is there a percentage level say if we can decrease by this level and one life is too many uh, to be lost on on the road as well you know if it's if it is according to according to me i would say 100 so, yeah. percent because which is this family that is mm. happy today that is that, planning no. for christmas and new year to be together and suddenly they will be bearing some wood, mm. which is that family. Mm. And it surely right. cannot be mine, mm. and surely not yours, and surely for not anybody. Mm. And mm. therefore mine would be to say, don't have anybody to die during the festive season. Mm. But of course, we know that people do make mistakes, mm. and we can only accommodate mistakes, and therefore we talk of 10, 12%. Mm. To say, if we were to reduce by 10, 12%, it will be fine. Mm. We should be saying 50% as a matter of fact, because that's what we want by 2020. Mm. But the realistic is that right now, probably if we were to reduce those by, because of course the numbers are high as we speak right now. Mm. So we would want to reduce fatalities by at least 10, 12%, oh. if that is, that is achievable. Well, we hope we will achieve it. I'm trying to get that RTMC number for you, but it's fine. Uh, okay, the number is on the screen, actually, for RTMC, for you to be able to, to yes. get hold of them. It's there, 0861-400-800. Uh, that is the number. You can report uh, even bad driving. If you see someone, I know a lot of Houghtonians like that, take a picture and put them on Twitter and all of this. So you can do that, 0861-400-800. Uh, Deputy Minister, thanks very much for joining us uh, this morning for a conversation.